This looks so mysterious. I like how the artist made an opening near the top of the pyramid so you can see the inside. Sometimes there's more than one person involved in the making of a piece of art. With this sculpture, two people were involved in creating it. Stanislav Lebensky and Yaroslav Abriktova are a husband and wife team that have collaborated on their sculptures for over 40 years. Lebensky creates the concept for the sculpture in drawing, and his wife translates the two-dimensional drawing into a ceramic mold. How did they get the glass to take the shape of the mold? Did they just pour a bunch of hot glass into it? The artists pioneered the technique of mold melting. And in this technique, chunks of glass are placed inside of molds and allowed to slowly melt into the molds inside of a kiln. The object is then slowly cooled, sometimes over a period as long as three months, in a process that we call annealing. The glass seems to glow, almost like it's still on fire. Glass is unique because it's the only material that can hold light. Did you notice that in the middle of the pyramid, where the glass is thick, the color is a deep red? Where the glass gets thin at the edges, the color changes to a red-orange. What the Lebenskys do is to create drama in the sculpture by bringing light right into the mass of the sculpture. And as you walk around Red Pyramid, you can see that the way that the light shines through the object changes its appearance dramatically. I never knew that a little bit of light could give a chunk of glass such a powerful personality.